Imagine holding something that is about the size of a glasses case and just waving it over yourself. It emits a blue light and it will get rid of your body odour. That is a new product that's currently fundraising at the moment by the mega company, uh, electronic company Bosch. But does it work? And if it does, how does it work? And could it change the way we wash our clothes forever? To debate that, we have Josh Taylor joining us in our Melbourne studio. He's from The Guardian and right here with me, Ray Johnson from the Queens of the Drone Age podcast. Is this science? It's real science. It emits room temperature plasma, which is a, a gas that's had a bunch of molecules and, and electrons pulled out of it, and it creates effectively ozone, which can neutralise the odour smell. So it breaks down the bacteria that exists in clothes to be able to stop them from smelling. So much to my horror, it won't actually remove the coffee stain that I regularly spill down the front of my clothes just before an important meeting, Mm -hmm. but it will stop your clothes from stinking. So it's a good gift for teenagers. Josh, Is this the sort of thing that you think will take off? It looks like a UV light to me, you know, when they're looking at crime scenes and trying to look at stains and things (laughs) like that. It's Star Trek CSI. (laughs) You know, there's there's that sort of old wives' tale is probably not a great term to use, but about you put your jeans in the freezer to get the the odours out of them if you want to keep wearing them because, you know, we're discouraged from washing our jeans all that often. So I think in, in those circumstances it can potentially be useful, but... You know, everyone's been locked at home for a year. Everyone's, um, you know, wearing the same clothes all the time. But I, you know, just do a load of washing. It's not that no, hard. No, <laughs> See, the good thing about this is that we don't actually need to be washing our clothes as much as <laughs> we've been told that we need to wash our clothes. This is this is big washing it's... liquid coming into our lives, <laughs> demanding that yeah, we launder this things. Dynamo right open. More often, our actual bodies, when we sweat, that doesn't smell. We don't smell instantly. It's when it attracts oh, speak back. for yourself. No, it's the bacteria <laughs> that it attracts that ends up smelling. So if we wear fabrics that are you know, made out of you know, fibres like wool, which don't attract bacteria and that allow that sweat to evaporate really quickly, you don't end up smelling as much. So you mm-hmm. can wear your clothes for longer. That's why you don't need to wash you know, your wool jumpers or your merino T-shirts as often as you do a straight up cotton. And one of the things about this gadget that's super cool is that it can extend the time between you need to wash stuff. You can wait for when you just straight up spill clothes on it. And that's why your jeans don't smell after you pull them out of the freezer too, because it's killed the bacteria that's causing the smell. It's all legit. You know, 17% of your water usage in your home is straight up from washing clothes. I have two children. It's definitely like <laughs> 70 or 80%. For That's if you're <laughs> one person. Yeah, we, we, we really don't need to be washing our clothes as much as we've been told we do. I think it's quite interesting that the company that's developing this, you know, it's a, it's a big brand. It's, oh, it's Bosch. This up on, you can say it. It's Bosch. Yeah. <laughs> We're on the ABC. Right here. <laughs> um, have put it up on a Kickstarter to effectively get people to fund the development of it. I thought, you know, they'd have enough money to be able to do it themselves, but maybe that's a way of gauging public interest in it as well rather I, than I'd say at this stage, market. Kickstarter is more a marketing platform than Absolutely. it is a fundraising <laughs> platform. Yeah. <laughs> Also, it's interesting that they've they've pegged the price. It's sort of you know it's about two hundred US dollars thereabouts. Do you think the price point would place it at somewhere that actually people would use it? Right. I think you'd get a certain type of person buying this. <laughs> I think you'd get people that just straight up love gadgets, and you'd get the people that have calculated the savings that they will get on their water bill and on their laundry and all of those sorts of things. So you'd get down to justify the show it. Listeners, Absolutely. <laughs> and you'd also get people that you know, are spending a lot of time travelling, you know. We, we, obviously not a lot of people are travelling around the world much at the moment, but if you're on an extended road trip, the last thing that you want to be filling your boot with is spare T-shirts. So yeah. I think that there's a there's a certain market for this, to have this as a travel implement that you just have in your suitcase for when you're on the road. You know, they may encounter some, uh, you know, pushback from, from big washing machine that might try and... <laughs> Stop it from happening, but I love we'll have this. To wait and sorry, sorry. Who do we think Big White Good is? <laughs> Unilever, definitely <laughs> Unilever. It's the gangsters known as Fisher and Pike, or yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. And there is lots more of this in the podcast of Download This Show. We're also talking about Donald Trump's potential return to social media and exactly what are NFT, non fungible tokens, we attempt to explain. It's all in the podcast of Download This Show. We'll see you there. Bye.